Nothing wrong with silver. Nothing wrong with silver at all. <laughs> oh, I just bury it down inside. Bury it deep down in there and never bring it up again. It's painful and I love you. Hey, what's going on, motivators? My name is Corpo Russo, and as always, I aim to kill your boredom. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more death battle. We have two fighters of the future fighting each other today. It is Trunks from Dragon Ball uh, Heroes, uh, more specifically, and Silver the Hedgehog from the Archie Sonic series. So if you guys want to skip to the death battle reaction, skip to this time down here, and you just go uh, watch over there. But as always, if you got a quick second, let's get down to some business. So, uh, if you guys didn't catch this from my last death battle reaction, um, you'll notice that this video is a lot shorter than the actual battle itself, or the, the death battle in its entirety. Uh, normally, we would record these, you know, watching the whole thing, the stats, the breakdown of the characters, but uh, we have to shorten these videos because the internet where I'm staying at right now, the upload speed is horrendous. You know, for every minute that the video is, it takes like an hour to upload, so it's a little annoying. So, I'm also kind of getting through this intro right here. Um, you know as fast as possible so that you, you know that and also things with the military looks like they're going a little bit better you know i'm getting you know this paperwork done hopefully i'll be back in soon and some good news a side note uh japan is opening back up their borders to the world international travel without getting tour guides you know guided tours like they do in north korea so thank you japan so if you guys want to plan a trip to japan you know make sure you submit a negative COVID test 72 hours prior to your flight uh especially if you're here in america and you'll be set for the most part. Uh, there's probably some more details uh, you go find find out online. But uh, it's also something we're planning on doing too. Is trying to go to Japan, especially uh, before I go back in, kind of like a little little earned vacation time for myself. Uh, but yeah, uh, for this battle, back to this little sidetrack. Uh, for this battle, I am kind of leaning towards Trunks. You know, um, you know, this is kind of reminiscent of you know when uh, Vegeta took on Shadow the Hedgehog when. Uh, Death Battle first appeared, so that's why I'm kind of leaning towards it, and plus, you know, the Saiyans need a win, especially after Vegeta's loss to Thor. Uh, so, Trunks, boy, you better <laughs> avenge your father. <laughs> Horrible Vegeta impersonation, but at the same time, you know, I don't know much about Silver the Hedgehog, uh, so I'm just going to watch this, you know, my opinion might change, you know, when the Death Battle starts, but never underestimate a Hedgehog, you know, in the Sonic Universe. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm also gonna try to you know, pump out more videos. Think about, think about doing Flash Kids reactions. You know, uh, I, yeah, you know, I, guys, I just been busy. You know, if you guys want to know more, go watch the other Death Battle. Uh, I'll explain. You know, I explain everything there. But uh, we're just gonna dive on into this. Uh, you know, and just see who comes out on top. Uh, hopefully, the same race could take one for this. If not, you know, you know, I'm somewhat of a fan of Sonic, so this can go either way. But again, leaning more towards Trunks on this one. So uh, without further ado, let's dive on in. I like this music already. Also, I like how they're just getting right into it. No introductions needed. Just another day. Just another day in the Dragon Ball world. And the Sonic world, apparently. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of Magneto versus Tetsuo. I mean, Silver probably should have taken him on. Uh, what ring? <laughs> But, uh, yeah, after their stat breakdowns, I'm kind of leaning towards, uh, Silver now. Just a little bit. And, and Psychokinesis is a fuck. It's a bitch. Super Saiyan 2. Come on, Trunks. You got this. <laughs> wow. What a ripoff. Ha! Yes! <laughs> oh, good on you, boy. <laughs> One of these days, Silver. Pow! Straight to the moon. Uh, crap baskets. <laughs> uh, I love how they're throwing some uh, Team Four Star version there. Come on, give me a good pull. Oh, the cards, yeah. Good enough. Yeah, that that just seems weird. The the whole card thing, you know. Damn. Also, would that count as him getting help? We'll talk about that in, in, a, in a minute. Well, at the end of the video. Oh, shit. Sword broke. Oh, but he's got the other sword, I think. Right? There you go. 
Super Saiyan God. Damn, <laughs> go Trunks. Keyblade. Nah, <laughs> mm. uh, something's gonna happen. Oh, oh, is, is Silver rewinding time or trying to? Yep. Oh. Oh, that sounded chill down my spine. Jesus Christ, how about OP is shit? KO! Oh, come on! Trunks is way past cooler than furry Kyle. Okay, I'm glad I was leaning more towards Silver at the end of that. However, Silver ironically had just about everything he needed to put the half Saiyan six feet under. First off, time travel wasn't much of a factor, since they were both pretty well-versed in it. Either way, Silver's psychokinesis could disrupt tech like the hero switch and the time travel armband, leaving Trunks without his gadgets and primary method of hopping through time. Let's be frank, in base form, Silver never stood a chance at matching Trunks with his own power. Even in a super form, it's questionable whether or not Super Silver had the physical ability to match Super Saiyan Trunks. In short, it's practically impossible to lock down exact numbers and limits for their power levels. So Trunks yeah. Take you to win yeah, even when they did Goku versus Super Superman, they're saying like the whole power level thing was getting like a little out of hand or something like that. Matched the power of Supersonic and conquered all of Mobius, but Silver could consistently Uno reverse card his attacks back at him, and he wasn't even Super at that time. Trunks was obviously much faster than Goku's trip to hell. He could easily be sextillions or septillions of times faster than light, maybe even more. However, by the very nature of Dragon Ball powers, his speed must have a limit, even if it is impossible to know an exact number given what we've seen. <laughs> but Archie's super forms have consistently shown incalculable speeds. Sure, Goku broke through Hit's time skip, but that actually has nothing to do with speed. As explained by Whis, the effectiveness of time manipulation in the world of Dragon Ball depends on the difference in power level between the caster and their target. Such as when Kronoa attempted a time stop on Mira and failed, due to Mira's energy being stronger. Xeno vs. Goku has also mentioned how increasing his energy affects space and time. Yeah, I, I, again, I have not seen anything Dragon Ball related, you know, since GT back in like the, Jesus, like late 90s, early 2000s, I forget. exact number on Trunks' maximum level of power. The strongest beings in his continuity can affect his entire multiverse, which has infinite timelines plus the crack of time outside. In contrast, chaos magic wielded by a super form like Supersonic can rewrite the infinite timelines in Archie Sonic's multiverse, plus the extra dimensional realms outside, like the Chaos Force, Pocket Zones, Mega Man's own infinite universe, and yes, possibly even a multiverse with Spawn. <coughs> the scope of Dragon Ball's cosmic scale simply does not compare. Plus, unlike Sonic, Silver spent many years being trained how to use Chaos Magic by the guy who invented it. Hell, if Mega Man could rewrite reality just minutes after learning he could even use the Chaos Emeralds at all, imagine what craziness Silver could pull off. Trunks' best chance was the Key Sword's ability to nullify powers, like it did to Mechikabara. However, the Super Genesis Wave explicitly could not rewrite the presence of Super Sonic or Super Mega Man, despite being able to rewrite even- Okay, there's a lot of fucking reading going on. Can you imagine being on the research team with these guys? The Key Sword, at least for a time. Ultimately, while there are many versions of this battle where Trunks can win, Silver's superior abilities close out a victory more often than not. To make things brief, Silver was just hogging the spotlight. The winner is Silver the Hedgehog. Alright, who's next? Hey, if you want more Death Metal ASAP, why not grab a membership? You'll get exclusive emotes, badges, lights, and a bunch of behind-the-scenes stuff. Just click that join button. 
Thanks for watching. All right, what do we got? Hold your barnacles. Oh God, SpongeBob and <laughs> oh my God, Super Friends Aquaman. Okay, more specific. Wow. Okay. Uh, I I'm I'm pretty psyched for that. Okay. All right. So. Yeah, I was leaning towards Trunks in the beginning of that, but I'm glad after seeing those stats, I was leaning more towards Archie Sonic. So, God, I'm sorry. I'm still kind of... When I saw the Hold Your Barnacles, I knew it was going to be Spongebob. I thought it was going to be like Ariel or something, but the Super Friends Aquaman? I mean, it's fitting, you know, especially Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, you know, he, he was fans, you know, he's fans of, you know, Merman. Mermaid's based off of, you know... Aquaman, he was once voiced by, you know, Adam West at one point when Patrick and Spongebob went back in time, you know, you know, no joke intended with the type of death battle we just saw, but Spongebob versus Aquaman, that's going to be fucking hysterical. That's going to be one of those ones you can't really just take serious and just enjoy for what it is, but yeah, so way to go, Silver the Hedgehog, and uh, yeah, Spongebob versus Aquaman. That's one of those things where it's just like, you know, when they did Popeye versus Saitama. Haven't seen it, but I'm pretty sure I know how that ended. You know, uh, but yeah, thanks for, uh, yeah, sorry guys, I'm still blown away by Spongebob versus freaking Aquaman from the Super Fans. But other than that, guys, thank you for continuing to support the channel. You know, if you enjoyed this video, as always, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, you know, let's see if we can get to nine likes. Nine likes. I'm, I'm good with nine likes. You know, I'll, I'll settle for nine likes. No more, no less. Uh, and, you know, if you guys think, you know, Flash Kits uh, would be something you guys want to see me react to, you'll let me know. I haven't really watched them in a while. I think the last thing I saw was, you know, it wasn't Racist Mario. Something else. I forget. You know, it's been a while since I've seen their channel, too. Uh, you know, definitely want to catch up on Brandon Rogers. Uh, you know, more of the Beat Canyon. Uh... But yeah, you know, uh, just thanks. Thanks for everything, you know. If you guys, you know, understand where I'm coming from with the military and getting all that damn paperwork done. Uh, and, you know, I'm trying to re-enlist into the Army this time, but into the Army Rangers. So I'm going to be gone for a while, you know. You know, once everything is said and done, I got the green light to go. So what's going to happen is I'm going to send, you know, my setup uh, to my brother who is in Illinois right now uh, working on a weed farm. You know, go figure. <laughs> and I'm going to, you know, make videos to show him like instructional videos on how to make videos so we can kind of keep the channel going you know and he can just take the take the helm from there but anyway guys thank you again for everything you know for supporting the channel i'm glad my subscriber count has not gone down it has just gone up slowly but surely and you know i may not make it big on youtube anytime soon um but that's okay that's okay you know uh I just hope that my videos help people get through their day and hopefully, you know, someone else's boredom is killed and it keeps them from doing something they might regret. That That's always been the goal of the video. So, again, guys, thank you again. I hope you enjoyed the reaction. I hope you enjoyed the video as well, the death battle itself. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. And, you know, suggestions down below. I'll, I'll read them, all right? <laughs> uh, but again, guys, uh, thank you again. Can't say it enough. And we'll see you in the next video, all right? Later.